Creating a Sustainable Civilization. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 330. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. So weekly progress update number 330, July 21st, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to create self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is about creating a sustainable civilization. Because right now, most people will agree that what we're doing is not sustainable. And for those that don't agree, please look into it because objectively what we're doing right now is not sustainable. We are using more resources. We are taking more than we give. We are depleting things that cannot be replenished as quickly as we're depleting them. And this has a consequence that is easy to identify. We will run out. We cannot continue to cut down trees the way that we are cut down, cutting down trees. We cannot continue to use fossil fuels the way that we are using fossil fuels. We cannot continue to pollute, pollute our oceans the way that we're polluting our oceans, polluting our air, poisoning our food. All of these things are, by definition, not sustainable. So let's talk about creating a sustainable civilization because we have the tools, we have the resources, we have the knowledge, and we have the will to create a sustainable civilization if enough people participate. And so one community is all about that. Let's get enough people to participate. Let's create a self-replicating model and create a sustainable civilization from the ground up, built by regular people with average means who want to live a better life. Let's create selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism. Let's meet people's needs in a better way than the way they're meeting them right now, and in so doing, at the same time, let's improve our world for everybody. Seems like a good idea, right? This is what we're doing. We are taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, as well as true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability designed specifically to create a way of life that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And in so doing, we will make it easy enough as part of the process, we make it easy enough, make it affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. Creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs built around the world, expanding the open source tools, tutorials, and resources, do-it-yourself instructions necessary to build these teacher demonstration hubs, and inviting more and more people to participate as we, again, make it even easier, even more affordable, and demonstrate it's even more attractive to live this way because there'll be more successful models with different value systems, different ideas of how to live, working together, cooperating, collaborating together around the world, and creating more options for people to participate. This is our idea for creating a sustainable civilization. It starts with one community, pun intended. One community built to demonstrate what's possible, inviting people to participate, come and experience what it is that we're doing, and then everything that we're designing is designed to be implemented as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub. So people don't have to just participate, don't have to just build a complete community or village, an eco-village or a city, which is where we're going with this idea. People can just build themselves a guest home or plant themselves a new type of food or uh, start a home education program or just participate in one of our lesson plans or build themselves a sustainable restaurant using our, our highest good economic models and the open sourcing process that we'll be doing for the complete city center restaurant that's capable of feeding 200 people. Every component is meant to be replicated, to start yourself an open source botanical garden model or participate in ours because we're building the infrastructure for that. So creating a sustainable civilization starts with millions of little actions working towards that goal of a sustainable civilization. And we are providing the lots of opportunities and tools and instructions and resources for those little actions and medium-sized actions too, which are teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs too. 
So if we build one community, as we build one community as a place that people can visit and experience, and somebody builds a version of this as well in another country, now we have two communities working together to teach other people how to build a third community and how to build you know, six more communities and 12 more communities and 24 more communities and 48 more communities and start that doubling process of teaching people all over the world. And for the people that want to join our highest good network and contribute everything that they're learning through that process, the adaptations, the modifications, the changes that they're making, the problems and things that they run into and how they solve those problems, we'll work hands-on with those organizations, working together to create even more open source tools and resources and options and modifications and adaptations and iterations of what it is that we're doing. A self replicating model as a pathway to creating a sustainable civilization that will benefit every single person in all life on this planet, stopping the unsustainable pathway that we're on right now and instead creating a new sustainable one where everybody can participate that wants to and everybody doesn't need to participate. That's the beauty of it. Our highest good of all philosophy is that we are doing the best that we possibly can for the highest good of all life on this planet. And we don't think that we've got it figured out. We're just going to keep trying and trying and trying to do the best that we can. And we're not ideological about it so that if people don't want to participate, that's great. It's just a big invitation for those people who do want to participate. And we're focused on creating something that's better than the way that most people are living right now so that they'll want to participate, inviting everybody who wants to to get involved and be a part of it. So that's our idea for creating a sustainable civilization where an all-volunteer uh, nonprofit organization, 100% volunteers. We've had almost 400 volunteers help out now to this point in our project, and uh, we're continuing to move forward to build this. And that's what we're up to. So, with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating a sustainable civilization for the highest good and benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team began adding the content to the most sustainable insulation options page. This week, we finished the initial formatting and completed the why and understanding our values sections. Also working on the most sustainable insulation options page, Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her seventh week researching the details and finished her second round of revisions. She added a more high-level overview of the different types of insulations versus specific products and brands and included insulations we didn't add in the spreadsheet because the health consequences invalidated them. We'd say this behind-the-scenes work is now 95% complete. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 60th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was continued standardization of the page layouts, parts colors, labels, and other details. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, U Chiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his ninth week helping update the city center AutoCAD and SketchUp files and designing the rainwater harvesting system. This week, he added the ground trench system and the basement drainage systems, researched and applied design codes, color-coded all the sections of the system, and revised the AutoCAD basement entryway in several other areas. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 11th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he continued to create the baseline model by modeling the building with a window-to-wall ratio of 40% and calculating baseline equipment performance and plug loads. You can see some of this work here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 17th week helping with the duplicate city center structural details. This week's focus was solving more missing 3D face area issues in AutoCAD, deleting extra members, and testing and retesting the model in SAP. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. 
This week, the core team continued with week 18 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we created all the missing and behind the scenes construction, lake ceiling, individual dam description, and FAQ details, most of which you can see here. The core team also continued developing the behind the scenes content for the open source permaculture design page. This week's focus was the what and why sections, history of permaculture details, and beginning describing Holmgren's 12 principles of design. The core team additionally started developing the goat barn in SketchUp 3D. What you see here are our initial layout tests. And last but not least, the core team continued researching sheep. We reviewed and extracted information from Sheep 101 and Wikipedia Sheep, and added all we learned to our new behind the scenes sheep tutorial Google Doc as shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we added a temporary roof so we could create external renders and created this new render of the interior looking southeast. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with week two of his work adding people and object additions to the redesigned and re-rendered sections of the Ultimate Classroom. Here are the second drafts of the orange, red, blue, and indigo classroom spaces. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team rewrote our new volunteer welcome page and policies. You can see some of this new page here. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also completed the highest good network information flow graphics in version two of the work breakdown structure shown here. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 37th week as part of the marketing team by creating the first versions of the Foundation for World Change and Nonprofit Organization subgroups of the Highest Good of All ad campaign. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards creating a sustainable civilization for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. Uh, if you would like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, uh, visit our website. We've got hundreds of thousands of pages of content on our website. Check it out. We're developing it and expanding it every single week, as you can see. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way to help out, of course, is to join us on social media, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to uh, share our information, to like our information. You can go to any of our social media channels. We're on all the different social media, all the big ones. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Twitter. We're on Tumblr. We're on Reddit. We're on Pinterest. We're on Instagram and about 15 other social media networks. So join us there. And if you'd like to help out, the easiest thing to do is just go there, share our information, like the post that you like, comment on the post that you like. All that stuff helps to get our information out and to support us. It's a really big deal. If you'd like to donate, 100% uh, of your donations go towards forwarding our open source goals, most of it to website infrastructure and those details. And none of our team is paid, including myself. So all donations go to forwarding our open source goals and mission. And if you've already donated, thank you very much. It really doesn't make a difference. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thanks for watching to the end. That helps as well. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.